Hey, welcome back. Weapon out of a yard tool. I miss my rake blade. But everyone got really confused and offended whenever I yelled my catchphrase, Prepare to get raked! So I stopped using it. Oh. Uh-oh. Probably smart. Well, thanks to the Shovel Blade's unique attributes, Shovel Knight has a repertoire of deadly attacks, his signature being the Shovel Drop. This deadly downward drop allows him to dig into his enemies, pogo stick style. Now, where have I seen that before? He also has a charge attack that, when unleashed, does massive damage and can even penetrate armor. If his enemy is more than a scoop's reach away, he can strike the earth to fire a dangerous spark that travels along the ground. You know what else it's good for? Digging up all of that sweet, sweet treasure. But the Shovel Blade is far from his only weapon. Throughout his journey, Shovel Knight has acquired many magical relics, which are quite handy in battle, though they do require access to a limited supply of magic to use. He can set stuff on fire with the flare wand, or punch through compact dirt with the dust knuckles. He can also take the wind out of his enemies with the throwing anchor, or fly a short distance with the propeller dagger. If Shovel Knight needs to kill bad guys in those hard to reach spaces, he has his trusty chaos orb, which acts like a bouncy ball of doom. He also possesses the mobile gear, a mechanism which allows him to traverse dangerous terrain such as spikes and small gaps with ease. Uh, mobile gear. But my favorite relic is the War Horn, which is kind of like the Horn of Gondor, but it uh. makes people explode. Shovel Knight carries a few defensive relics as well. Yeah, like those sweet fish goblets. You mean the Truple Chalice. These special liquid receptacles can carry icons, substances which, when drunk, provide certain benefits to Shovel Knight. Most notably, the Icor of Renewal, which fully restores his health and magic. And oh. How do you get such okay, a then. Okay, liquid? From a bunch of fish that perform an interpretive okay. dance and spit in your cup. Oh, I think so. It's dinner and a show. Last but not least, if the phase if went quiet this relic for a second, allows that was, Shovel Knight that was to pass the through his enemies I just got Steam message. I just got Steam message. I think it's got Steam, Steam message, so. Like all good knights, our I heard that Steam with a message of armor. Actually, he's got a few of them. His most capable all-around set is the Dynamo Mail. Along with providing the kind of defense busy, you need for fighting so the forces of evil, it get has an added bonus. Hitting just about anything with his shovel drop builds up a powerful charge attack. Is that... Normally, a large suit of armor what? comes with a lot of extra weight, oh, but Shovel Knight doesn't let that slow him down. Walking Even in full plates, our delving hero seemingly never tires and is agile enough to dodge everything from cannonballs to fireballs. Actually, the weight is more of a it's bonus a since his though. attack of choice is bouncing on heads. Time. With math that... On it, comparing his height to these doors, Shovel Knight appears to be about 4 feet 6 inches tall. Given his broad physique, he likely weighs approximately 100 pounds at most. In the 14th century, a knight's plate armor for combat typically weighed about 60 pounds. Scaling to Shovel Knight's height, his armor likely weighs 50 pounds. Including the 5 pound shovel, he must drop with a force of over 6,700 joules four, of six. kinetic energy. Four, In comparison, six. Mike Tyson can punch with up to 1,600 joules and has knocked out 44 people in the ring. And Shovel Knight's striking power is over four times stronger than that. Good job! No wonder Shovel Knight was able to take down the entire order of no quarter, including a giant steampunk mech and the Enchantress herself. He's also stubborn enough to hold his breath underwater for an impressively indefinite amount of time. And he even held his own against the Battle Toads and Kratos, the upcoming God what? of War. What the hell? Really? That's awesome! Guess you sell enough games, you can get anybody. Wow. But even after all that, Shovel Knight doesn't okay. seem the most intelligent. I know who's after sending all, us the, the message. He I know who it is. For so long is because he just assumed she was dead. Still, he's one deadly warrior who isn't afraid to put his enemies six feet under. You know, because he digs holes and stuff. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this fight once and for all. But first, I've got some free food for you. My bet. Now, I'm a man who likes a good home-cooked meal, but going out to buy or hunt my own food is a hassle. If only there was some way food could be brought straight to me. Good news, Boomstick. Introducing Blue Apron, the number one fresh food delivery service in the country. Using only the freshest ingredients, Blue Apron delivers a kit of ready-to-cook meals straight to your door, along with easy-to-follow instructions. Plus, the in 
Ingredients are perfectly proportioned, so it cuts Don't down do that waste, and you know you're using the right amount. On top of that, you can log into their website and select the upcoming meals that sound good to you, like the spicy shrimp coconut curry with cabbage and rice. Plus, it does feel rewarding cooking new and exciting meals right in your own home. But don't just take our word for it. We want you to try it. Because you're watching Death Battle, you can get three meals free with I, I free shipping right by now. heading to blueapron.com oh, forward slash I feel Death so battle. hungry right Seriously, now. you will love how good it feels and tastes yeah. to create incredible home meals with Blue Apron. Like mushrooms. So don't wait. That's it's Blue the meat I like. So yeah. Battle. But right now, <laughs> it's PS4. time for our Death Battle. Or three. Or three. I'm So that kind of makes it. I'm gonna bet my money on the duck. Seriously. I'm gonna bet my money on the freaking duck. that gold. Shovel Knight might have been able to uphold the code of chivalry, but he could not hold up to Scrooge's wealth of oh experience and superior strength. Aside from the extra hundred plus years of experience he's got over Shovel but Knight, was Scrooge right. beats Blue him out of the water. Win. For example, there's no way that Shovel could have put him down very quickly when he's powered oh my through a mind field like he's nothing. Win? And remember how he threw a coin across the Potomac what? River and rode across fast enough to catch it? Well, we know the average width of the river is 1,300 feet and he threw the coin at an angle of 20 degrees. After some quick calculations, this means he must have thrown the coin, boarded his boat, rowed across the entire river, and exited the boat to catch the coin in less than 5.4 seconds. Well, shit. This means he must have been rowing the boat at speeds well over 164 miles per hour. Jesus, how fast are his arms moving there? To make all that work, at least 14,400 rotations per minute. That's ducking awesome. He is strong enough to be awesome. part of Steamboat, after all. <laughs> but regardless of Scrooge's power, Shovel Knight had very little options to defend against the duck's wackier, physics-breaking weaponry. Those that come time. time could only last for so long okay. due to his Who limited... Who sent me a message? What you think Steam Magic magicians before, while Shovel Knight never fought anyone quite like Scrooge McDuck. Looks like Shovel Knight dug his own grave. The winner is okay, Scrooge McDuck. Okay, we're going to Scott, please. Who's next? Next time on Death Battle. Oh. Oh. See ya.
combine I will combine these two videos. Venom. Hey guys, I'm Chad, I play Boomstick. I'm Ben, I play Wiz, and next time we've got Venom from yeah. Marvel. But who's he gonna be fighting? You can stick to our social media, we'll be announcing it very shortly. And you could have watched this death battle early and all our videos early, plus like merch discounts and a bunch of great stuff by becoming a first member. It's free to try, so click the link in the description below. Sign up today. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. All right. Huh. Venom. Venom is the first one they just showed. So maybe next Wednesday they'll show the next opponent. And the next up my video showing Venom. After that, they'll show his opponent. So yeah. So my thoughts about this battle. I bet my money on Duck, cause because of the laser gun. That laser gun he had about that. Makes that he slipped. Yeah, that's what I. That's why I bet the duck. That's why I did that. Because of that. So, like, thought of it. No, oh, lazy. Because of no. Duck. Grab the shield. Cut his fucking head off. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that one is Death Battle. Screw the next duck versus Shovel Knight. Screw the duck, the winner of this battle. So, that's all for now, so, thank you all for watching, going on, gaming on, and I'll see you all later in the next video.